Hey there, folks. I'm your host, Chris Caraccio. Welcome to another Leading in the Moment podcast where we uh, spotlight different efforts in our communities. We all kind of manage our way through this COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and joining us today is senior pastor over at uh, Vineyard Church, North Phoenix, Brian Anderson. Brian, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. It's great we to be on. appreciate it. And, you know, I mentioned efforts in our community and what an effort you guys put forth last week here in the Valley, uh, providing uh, supplies to anyone and everyone that needed it. Can you kind of walk us through what took place uh, out at your church last week? Sure. We partner with Convoy of Hope, which is an international ministry that brings relief to uh, places. And uh, we, we uh, received about 25,000 pounds of supplies for people that are going through you know, this COVID-19 deal. And so we planned a big giveaway with our stuff. We have a food bank, a compassion ministry that we provided our stuff with their stuff and had a big giveaway on uh, last Wednesday from, supposed to be from nine to 11, went a little bit longer than that. And it was a drive-through thing. We had a number of our staff and some volunteers out there and we gave two bags uh, to each vehicle. One bag had, was filled with non-perishable food items. The other one was filled with those things that are a little hard to get right now, uh, paper towels, toilet paper, hand sanitizer, disinfectant, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And we gave them water as well. So people started lining up, I heard around 5 a.m. or something like that, but we weren't open till nine. And we served about, uh, about 600 vehicles. We had to actually put a stop to it because we were we were running out of supplies. So we didn't want people to wait in line and then not be able to get anything. So it was an amazing event. We were so grateful to be able to do it. Yeah, I saw some video of it, and yeah, the, the cars just lined up, and it looked it looked pretty darn organized. But it, again, you guys do these sorts of things all throughout the year. Is that correct? We do. We do. We, you know, we really feel called to be a blessing to our community, not just our church family, but the community at large. And so we do these big events several times a year. We do a single mom spa day where single moms from around the, the valley will come and we'll pamper them one day, a couple hundred single moms. And then we do a big back to school outreach where we give backpacks like 1,200 backpacks filled with school supplies to families that might be in need. Uh, you know, we do that around July. And then we do the big Thanksgiving food basket giveaway where we give away all the things to make a big Thanksgiving meal. We give, uh, you know, over a thousand of those away. And we do an angel tree outreach as well where we partner with Prison Fellowship and we buy Christmas presents for kids that have one or both parents incarcerated and we give them the presents in there in the kids, in the parents' names. So anyway, I mean, this is, you know, we're kind of sort of uh, been doing this for a while, so it wasn't as hard to pull off as, you know, it might seem. Well, that, that was my next question. Uh, organizationally, you know, boy, you had to kind of gather the troops, if you will, get some more volunteers in there for last week. And tell me about Convoy of Hope. Uh, they're a national organization. They're actually international, and anywhere there's any kind of a crisis that happens, a, a tsunami, a hurricane, a, you know, fires in California, you know, whatever it is, they are uh, boots on the ground, man. I mean, they're an amazing organization that we've been giving financially to and supporting for a number of years. And uh, so they partnered with us and gave us, like I said, like 25,000 pounds of goods to help help us give away to our community. It was great. What was uh, real-time feedback you were getting last week uh, during this uh, giveaway, if you will, with the cars? Were oh, you out there personally? I'm sure you were. I was. People are just, you know, blown away, so thankful, fills them with hope, you know. I mean, all the things you certainly want to hear, we're, yeah. we're just uh, grateful we're able to do it. Definitely. Um, let's talk quickly about the food bank that you guys have. It's open seven days a week, and yes. there are some changes due to COVID-19. Kind of run through those changes. Yeah, it's open seven days a week, set hours, and it's been this way for, you know, decades. And um, so we give away up to 
we give food, first of all, and clothing, if they want clothing, we have kind of a thrift shop that's all free, but where it's all size and it's nice and it's labeled and it's on hangers and all that, like you'd go to a nice thrift shop. And so we allow them to, to get clothes and we give them food as well. And we do that, like I said, seven days a week, but we limit it because of funds. We limit it to the first 40 families each day. So it's about 250 families a week that we're serving every week, not just during this time. And what um, I would think during this time though, Brian, that uh, uh, I guess the need, uh, I imagine, you know, seven days a week, every single day, you're getting more and more folks during this time coming to the food bank. Is that correct? Yeah, we are. And this time, you know, people can't come in. We're doing just the drive-by thing. And so we're yeah. not doing clothing, any of that, excuse me, right now, but it's a drive-by thing. And so we, we take the food out to them as they go by. And yeah, I mean, sometimes we have to turn people away, which is sad, but it's, we do everything we can and it's rare that we have to turn somebody away. Well, that's an understatement, doing everything you can. Yeah, you, you guys certainly do that each and every day. And then especially here during this COVID-19 thing we're going through. Tell me about um, the online worship. Here we are in Holy Week. I mean, uh, it was Palm Sunday yesterday. We're coming up on Easter. Um, how are you guys uh, doing services? Yeah, I mean, we're doing them like most churches now. We're doing them online uh, during our normal uh, service times, 5 p.m. on Saturday night, 9, 15, and 11 on Sunday. So we have three weekend services, and we had never done online services before. So it was, uh, we've been talking about it like it's putting together a, a team to play a sport that you've never played before, none of you have played and in three days, you have to somehow win, you know, <laughs> in playing that sport. But by God's grace, we pulled it off. And uh, the first weekend, we had over 5,300 uh, people streaming in during those three times. And it's been a similar thing the last couple of weeks. So we feel very blessed. And we're learning a lot as we go. And, the, you know, the chat thing, I've never seen anything like it. You know, you have this online platform. And so the service is going but there's a whole chat thing where people are chatting the whole time. And sometimes it's so much you can't even read it. It's going so fast because there are so many people. And, but it's a way to really keep people in our church family and outside of our church family really uh, connected. People are really longing for human connection because we can't have it right now. And uh, so being able to do the chat is really, really helpful. And for, for folks that, that want to kind of tune in, if you will, uh, now, do they just go to your website? Is that, is that the best way to do that? Yeah, and just go to our website, vineyardnorthphoenix.com, and right at the top it says online services. You click on that, boom, you're in. It's that easy. Well, Brian Anderson, um, Senior Pastor at Vineyard Church North Phoenix, thank you so much for agreeing to do this podcast, but also for what you guys did last week getting out those supplies and what you're doing every day. We, we really appreciate it. You certainly are leading in the moment. That's why we wanted you on this uh, podcast. Oh, thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate the podcast and all that you guys are doing and keep up the good work. You got it. Thanks, Brian.